Confetti Club, it is Pixie, and this video is going to be a very chill, unscripted, sit down, just let's breathe, let's sit, let's sip, let's chat. Whew. I am going to be mentioning the current COVID-19 coronavirus situation, so if you're trying to avoid any content related to that, definitely click off right now because this video is definitely just like a life update on where I'm at right now and um, how I'm operating right now as my life has been affected by the whole virus situation. And I just want to preface this with like, I know there are many people that have lost their lives or lost loved ones or have had like weddings and just like major major life events canceled so I don't want it to seem like I'm saying like oh my god my life is over but just there have been a lot of major major changes um in my life routine schedule entire fabric of how I like you know maneuver around the world lately because of the whole COVID-19 thing um and I know that that is the case for everyone on the planet right now pretty much Steve and I have been taking this super super seriously and we have not really left the house for days eight now I left okay twice I went once got in my car drove to get a necessary errand of medicine for me to continue to function long story short pretty much day eight of quarantine kind of losing my marbity marbles my school of course like pretty much every school has ceased operating classes um, kind of operating online right now it's very very tricky for my college because it's a craft college and everything's so hands-on like I'm in the fashion department which is like sewing machines and sergers and I'm so fortunate so 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 fortunate that I have this amazing sewing space here at home I can pretty much continue to work as normal with like no major hiccups like I mean I ran out of gold bias tape but like I think I'll survive until maybe the uh, pandemic is over I can get some more shiny bias but yeah I'm really really fortunate that I have like a stack of craft paper and a serger and stuff so and also YouTube is my job so I am in a position that is really really fortunate i can still kind of work and do school from home but yeah my school is closed indefinitely which is definitely <laughs> spooky indefinitely is definitely terrifying last week our classes were just canceled so the teachers had a chance to like figure out what was going on and this week um, our classes are starting online I always have Mondays off today is Sunday so Tuesday we're gonna have a super fun fashion discord oh my god actually that will probably be fun um, my teachers and everyone at my college have been so over the top supportive and sweet and concerned i have gotten like the mental health support from my college has been so impressive i am just beyond comforted knowing that i'm in an environment that is really looking out for me and making sure that i have all the tools to succeed i love my college just big 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 props i love you i love you thank you so much for making this thing less scary but the biggest change and Definitely the hardest hit I took was the cancellation of our big end of the year fashion show. Kind of a big deal for the whole college and for the fashion department, it's like the thing we work toward all year. It's like, what's the challenge for the fashion show? Who's showing? boop a boo Don't go bother the fashion students. They're busy and they're stressed. To get the news on Facebook that it was canceled definitely was the hardest night that I took where I was like, nothing is certain. Everything's scary. I need routine to function. I just, I don't know about y'all in the BPD neurodiversity fam, but like I literally need to know what's going on and have it be scheduled and know what's going on. And I've always struggled with last minute changes in plan. And I know that you just have to be able to cope with these things, but my brain doesn't cope, you know, perfectly as well as I'd like it to. So it's definitely been a 
day at a time thing here in the mental health factor. I think yesterday was my most normal, you know, back to routine, back to real life day. I had a really great chat with both of my instructors in fashion and I just, they're so sweet and so supportive and I feel capable of doing my schoolwork and YouTube work and trying to maintain normal productive routine from home until the world begins again. <laughs> <laughs> we're coping, we're coping, we're trying to cope. Like, I'm the kind of person where like, I thought I was going to go to the mall in the afternoon and then suddenly my friends decide they want to go to the beach. Like, you know, inside I have a little bit of a beep boop beep boop 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 You know, we're playing Pog inside my head and I have to like reroute just to change my expectations. This is like... <laughs> Mental health quarantine, Jillian's losing her mind, but I'm slowly adapting to quarantined life. I was talking to my friend Jonathan on the phone last night, and I know that some colleges and some universities end earlier and some end later. Like personally, my college has four weeks or I guess three weeks left of the current semester now and then there's an additional third spring semester now that is five weeks. Basically, we have like a while left of school and we don't know what is going on in the world and when we're gonna be allowed to go outside again and touch things and interact. <laughs> At school, before it shut down, they immediately just the Purell dispensers started getting drilled, like bit like heavy duty mom, industrial, drill it into the wall, Purell dispensers, pop, 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 pop. It was like, like a magical sanitized dream. We came into school and just everything smelled like alcohol and vinegar and sanitization and cleanliness. And like <laughs> standing from our fashion door, you can reach two different Purell dispensers and like it's just whoo they really want you to be clean so I at least I feel very equipped I feel like I'm in good hands um, Steve and I are definitely making the most of it and playing lots of Animal Crossing and you know cooking up our rations and being mindful of our toilet paper usage and keeping spirits high which has been really 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 helpful because yeah, I need to not surround myself with doom, world is ending, mind thoughts. I tweeted, I responded to a Safia Nygaard tweet and I made, tried to make a joke about like how the quarantine will never end. And anyway, don't have that energy. Don't be sad like I was. It's okay, things will end. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> that was also the night that the fashion show got canceled. <laughs> So I was like, all my dreams are ruined and now Sophia Nygaard hates me. <laughs> so yeah, I might be back to school at some point. And I should add that um, a couple days after we got the news that the fashion show was canceled, they actually turned it into a postponement to later in August. So there's a tentative date for September. So it's not never happening, but it was supposed to be April 18th. So it was like really, really coming up. And we were all like really, really in like crunch time, fashion time, fashion show, wah, rah, 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 let's go countdown mode. And it just, it definitely feels bizarre and like it's hard to find motivation and it's like just what do i do like i'm looking at my my mannequin right here and i'm like i'm sorry i just don't know what to do with you now i mean i need to finish you but now i have like so many more months it's just a whole wicky wackety timey wimey what's going on i no one knows and that's okay <laughs> i don't do well with this stuff but I think the fact that the entire world is feeling that and and everyone's going through the same thing is kind of helping me just be like Okay, I'm sorry, this video is really chaotic. <laughs> we do have the new Animal Crossing game that has been an absolute savior and beautiful escape and comfort. It is just so lovely. Um, I filmed 
uh, a first impressions video where I played the game for the very first time and like created my island and my character and my name and everything, but the footage is so busted. Island name time. So, I, I don't know a million percent. Oh god, this is so hard because I don't know what the like end suffixes are. I don't want to just make a daisy, can you imagine? Ah. I look busted, the screen looks busted, we need to order a capture card. I thought that it would work the way that I did my friggin' 3DS let's play from many, many, many years ago. I thought that I could just pull a like adolescent Jillian and make that work. It didn't work. It looks bad. I don't want to subject you guys to like such a horrendously subpar let's play. So we're going to order a capture card and hopefully the mail systems won't shut down and maybe one day I can play Animal Crossing for you. But right now I'm just kind of uh, tweeting about it over on my Twitter and posting uh, screenshots occasionally and honestly just also enjoying it for escapism during this time. I love you guys. I would love to know what you want to see on this channel. I feel like I've been a little bit confused and lost in college and stuff and now that I'm like at home kind of doing things at distance I'm like what do I, what do people want from me? What do, what, what should I put on my YouTube channel? Um, I definitely have a lot of ideas for many, many things. I want to do some more mental health resources, specifically like a guided meditation thing, but I don't know if I should put that on my main channel or if I should put that on my yee yee olden abandoned second channel, Whisper Pixie which has like two ASMR videos on it. I don't know, but maybe comment below. Do you think I should put like weird uh, meditative uh, whispered things on a knot here? Probably, maybe not, who cares? I'm not sure. Please let me know what I should do with my life. Um, what fruit did you get in Animal Crossing? I got apples. Pissed. Some of my friends are like, almost off for the summer now, like they're not going back to school. I don't know where my mindset brain should be and if like when am I going back to school and what's going on and am I just working from home now and it, uh, ah. But it's okay, this is all just trivial brain mental health stuff. I just wanted to kind of have a heart to heart one on one with you. Um, I hope you guys are doing all right. I really, really hope you are. Please feel free to just talk to me in the comments here and like vent your feelings. I am all ears. I will be hearting comments. I'm really trying to get myself and my stuff and my life back together. And like I said, yesterday was my most normal life routine human being day. So, I think I'm on my way, but if you guys are struggling to find like routine and schedule and motivation and like raison d'etre right now, um, that's okay because it's a very, very bizarre, unprecedented time. We're living through history. I keep saying it. We're gonna be in a textbook. I want that American doll, that American girl doll with the Nintendo Switch. I want it. I will be the first buyer. Also, my mom gave me a freaking iPad Pro so I can use Procreate now. The art is popping off the walls. I have the Apple Pen. I love you, mom, so much. It was refurbished. I love you. Amazing. Fantastic. Art time is happening. Th good for quarantine. Ooh. This video's Fichu Confetti Club member is jade.zip on Instagram who did this absolutely precious like screenshot redraw of Steve and I's little Valentine's Day Q&A from this year. Oh my god, I just noticed the little happy flower on the curtain. Thank you so, so much for sharing this with me. I appreciate it very, very much. I love you guys. Please stay safe. Please stay home if you can. I've been home for like eight days, man. You can do it. You can do it. Get cozy. Download Animal Crossing if you can. Draw a picture. Plan out your garden for whenever spring comes. 
please be safe. Please, please, please be safe. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one's over.